This one is for all of you beginners out there. So we've got four exercises that are gonna help you to improve your hand independence, your dexterity, and your control using really, really simple exercises. So this is a great way to just wake up your fingers and start to develop the muscle memory that you're gonna need to be able to play the songs that you love. The first exercise we are gonna look at is just based on the five finger scale. So we're gonna take our right hand thumb or one finger and place it on C. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take our left hand five finger and place it on the C below that. And then all we're going to do is walk up, five notes, and back down. Now, this looks really simple, but if you're a complete beginner, this is actually quite challenging. Getting the fingers to cooperate, to stay relaxed, to apply even pressure as you play through the notes. So think about starting on the lowest note and everybody just working together going up a step up a step again and then up and then just down a step down a step to C now eventually you're gonna get comfortable and when that happens you can start to build your speed but make sure that you stay in control so once you've arrived at a place where you can play that at a pretty quick tempo and stay in control, this is where you can start to work on some of the hand independence parts. So here's what I mean. We're gonna play smoothly, so connected notes with our left, and we're gonna play detached, which is staccato, that's the word for it, with our right hands. So we're playing the same notes, but our hands are now kind of doing things a little differently. And again, this looks really easy, but as soon as you go to try it, <laughs> you're gonna see that it takes quite a bit of concentration. Now you can switch the rolls. So you can see my left hand is playing staccato now, and my right hand is smooth or legato. So see if you can do that. See if you can switch the rolls without breaking your scale. So do it seamlessly, you know, starting staccato here and then switching the rolls on demand, just like that. You can have a lot of fun with it. And then the final little sort of modification for this first exercise is to switch up the rhythms and this will develop your hand independence. So I'm going to play quarter notes in my left hand while I play eighth notes in my right hand. So that means for every two notes I'm playing with my right, I'm playing one with my left. And then I'll switch. Really working hand independence here. And the real trick again comes when you're trying to make that switch without breaking in between. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is based on the contrary motion skill, which is really all we're playing. So sounds fancy, but it isn't. You're gonna make like a little butterfly with your hands and your thumbs are gonna share middle C. And then all you're gonna do is play one, two, three, and then your thumbs are gonna come underneath to tuck, and then your hands reset, and you finish the scale. Let's do that again. Together, on C like butterflies. Moving out, two, three, thumbs come under, hands reset so we can complete the scale. And then we can travel back down exactly the way that we went up. When we run out of fingers, we run our ones again, we're gonna take our third finger, that's three, cross it over top, reset our hands so that our ones can join again in the middle. So in one go, it looks like this. So once that gets comfortable, I want you to work on dynamics. And this is where some of that control comes in. So we're gonna start softly. Gradually applying more pressure till we build and then bring it back down. So it's a crescendo to a decrescendo. So this will help you to build control in terms of how hard you press the keys. And so while it's a simple exercise, you're developing a really important skill that will enable you to pull the most feeling and emotion out of the music and the phrases that you play when you're playing songs. And you can do this on 
on any key, in any key, um, you just have to keep in mind the key signature. So if you're a beginner, it's great to stick with C to start. The next exercise is something we fondly refer to here at Piano as the claw. So this shows up in our foundations, and basically what it is is you're gonna make a claw. So you're gonna use your one, I'll do one hand at a time here, one, three, and five. And you're gonna place it down on C. And this is just what we call a chord. And then you're gonna mirror that with your left, so five, three, and one. Now, if you're a total beginner, it might be really difficult for you to play all three notes at the same time without mashing these guys down too. And if that's the case, remove that third note and just play the shell. And we're gonna claw our way up the scale, and it's gonna look like this. And back down. Now this is another one of those exercises that looks really, really simple, but you would be surprised at how many people really struggle with this one. So if that third finger is giving you a grief, just do the shell, one and five, and go up the scale that way. So this is just building that dexterity, that muscle memory that you need to be able to play chords, which are gonna become the basis and the foundation for all of the songs that you eventually play. So this is a great way to get your hands comfortable with chords. So spend some time on that till you master it. And then we come to our fourth and final exercise where we're taking the concepts of that claw and we're breaking them up. So this is where we are really starting to work on some speed and dexterity. And this one is a tons of fun. So I'm demonstrating all these exercises for you hands together, but if they're challenging, please feel free to take them hands separately until they feel comfortable. So, same idea as the claw, but instead of playing them all together in solid form, we're gonna break them up. So it's gonna sound like this. I'm gonna play it for you fast and then I'll show you how I did it. So much fun to do. So you're going to, of course, start slow at the beginning. And there's a little bit of a wrist movement and rotation that will help here. So you wanna make sure you have great posture so you don't get fatigued. You wanna stay relaxed. And you're just playing your one, three, five. Resetting the bottom finger up a step, getting into your chord shape, one, three, five. And you complete that pattern all the way up till you find that your lowest finger lands on C, so you're in the C position. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat the high note, G, and work your way back down. Now it's the top finger that is doing the kind of the renegotiating and it's really what's resetting the hand. So when you play this, the other finger shift down, allowing you to complete the exercise. So again, feel free to work this one hand at a time as much as you need until you're ready to put it hands together and then challenge yourself to see if you can build some speed. Um, and of course you can play with different volumes. You can play staccato and legato, you know, the, the hot detached and the smooth in the other hand um, to make an even greater impact in terms of control and dexterity and hand independence. So I hope you enjoyed these four exercises. If this felt like it went too fast for you or if you want more, um, please head on over to Piano.com, we've got step-by-step -step lessons that will guide you through everything that you would need to be able to take these skills and apply them to songs. So, we'll see you there.